The BBC's Syria producer is challenging the mainstream narrative on an alleged chemical attack in the country. He claims that video of the supposed aftermath of a toxic strike in the Syrian city of Douma was, in fact, staged. It is a line that Russia and Damascus have long maintained. Others, though, accepted the video at face value, touting it as evidence of the Syrian government attacking its own people. RT's Murad Gazdiev investigates. You don't hear it very often, not even a doubt, not a suspicion, but a certainty that the hospital scenes of the alleged chemical attack in Douma were staged. And this is coming from a BBC Syria producer. After almost six months of investigations, I can prove without a doubt that the Douma hospital scene was staged. No fatalities occurred in the hospital. The incident in question occurred almost a year ago when the Syrian military took on the Army of Islam in the town of Douma. The white helmets working with Islamists released videos of an alleged chemical attack. Hospitals, people in panic, reaction was immediate and violent. Trump launched more than 100 cruise missiles that Syria, France and Britain chipped in. The UN Security Council in uproar. Few took any time to think. For years, Douma had been held by the army of Islam, hardcore Islamists, the same guys that caged women and elders on roofs to protect themselves against airstrikes. I can tell you that Jaish al-Islam ruled Douma with an iron fist. They co-opted activists, doctors and humanitarians with fear and intimidation. You may also remember, in the lead-up to this incident, Russia warned this could happen, that rebels might stage a chemical attack to invite foreign intervention, derail an evacuation deal. We have undeniable evidence that this was yet another staged attack that involved intelligence agencies of one of the countries that is rushing to spearhead a Russophobic campaign. But no one in the West listened or pretended not to hear, not the media, not the politicians. Here, by the way, is how BBC reported on the incident back then. Disturbing reports of a chemical weapons attack. Chemical attack carried out by the Assad regime. The medics are doing what they can. But they're overwhelmed. Dozens of people have been killed due to poison gas. A chemical attack did happen, believes Riam. But everything else, the casualties, the panic, the videos, those were meant to achieve something. What evidence Riam has, we don't know. Aside from a few tweets, details are scarce. We're waiting for more. We've requested comment from Riam, the BBC, and we'll keep you posted. But it seems... Not for the first time, full-blown hysteria over supposed chemical attack casualties may not quite be how it's claimed. Well, the uh, Russian Foreign Ministry has reacted to the claims made by the BBC producer, noting that Moscow was among the first to expose the falsification. As a result of an unprecedented falsification on the territory of the sovereign state of Syria, a massive strike was conducted by the Western coalition. We first uncovered that the video was in fact a falsification. And now we see that even those who were cheering the Western coalition strikes cannot tolerate these lies anymore and are speaking out. Previously, the BBC was one of the most... Uh, V vociferous critics of the Assad government, blaming the Assad government for all kinds of chemical attacks and other kinds of incidents which were supposedly directed against the Syrian people. However, uh, renowned journalists were on the scene within days, came there and reported that nothing happened inside the un makeshift underground hospital except a staged incident by the White Helmets. So I'm hoping that the next time that there is a, an incident uh, that takes place uh, staged by the White Helmets. I hope that the, Syri the BBC Syrian producer decides to treat that with a big bag of salt.